Once you have formatively assessed your students and have determined that groups of students need different assignments, you need to come up with a mechanism to make distributing different assignments to different kids in a quick, efficient, and private manner. Schoology has just the tool for that. For years now, Schoology has had a functionality called individually assigned within its assignments and test quizzes. So if you have an assignment or a test quiz, you can go to the settings gear on the right hand side to edit its settings. Under options, there are three dots and a triangle. Click on those. That will bring up the assign to field where you can type in students names that you would like to individually assign the test quiz to. Only the students names you have typed in will be able to see and take the quiz or see and complete the assignment. The same feature can be utilized on assessments and assignments but it is not available on discussion boards. New to this school year though, you can also individually assign entire folders. Under the settings wheel of a folder, select the individually assign option to assign a folder individually to a student. This is great not only for differentiation purposes, but for students who were absent. You can continue to have old work unpublished for students who are present but individually assign this folder so that students who were absent can continue to access the work. But anyway, I digress. If you want to differentiate work on a long-term basis, you can also establish grading groups. Grading groups allow you to conveniently assign work to whole groups of students without having to individually type in their names, which can become time-consuming and cumbersome. Grading groups are especially great if you want to keep your students grouped that way for extended periods of time because they are saved for later use. To create a grading group, go into one of your courses and click on the Members tab in the menu on the left hand side. Now, over on the right, click on the Organize Members into Grading Groups button to add a grading group. Create a name for the group that is not obvious to the kids, such as colors, colleges, or mascots. I'm going to create a blue hens group and now select the members that you would like to be in that grading group. Once you've selected everyone you want in that grading group, select create grading group. And now we'll see over on the right hand side, I have a new blue hens grading group. So now if I return to my materials, and I want only my blue hens to be able to see this test quiz. I'll go to my gear, edit, three dots, and I can type in blue hens. Additionally, if I wanted multiple grading groups to be able to see it, I could just go ahead and type in another one as well. So now I have this set so that only two of my groups of students can see and take this quiz, and to everyone else, it's entirely invisible. So as simple and easy as that, I can differentiate between who gets what work in a way that is private and nearly effortless.